In this chapter, we will continue with more advanced effects editing. Remember, Avid Studio has powerful tool sets that allow you to add corrections and effects to audio clips, video clips, and photos. You can access these tools in various ways. Remember, this is a brief overview of some complex editing techniques. These and other advanced concepts are discussed in greater detail in Complete Training for Avid Studio, which can be purchased from the Avid website. As we learned in the previous chapter, if you double-click a clip in the library, you will have access to corrections. If corrections are applied to a clip in the library, then the clip will now be corrected for use in any project moving forward. You can always edit or remove the correction if you don't like it once it's in a project, and all corrections and effects are non-destructive. Let's look at the workflow for a classic photo pan and zoom effect used in many documentaries and movies where you would like to give movement to a static image. It's simple and powerful. Let's get started. Drop a photo on the timeline. Double click on it. When the media editor opens, click the pan and zoom tab. Select animated. You will notice that there is a default animation applied to your photo. There are two wireframes. The green wireframe represents the area of the photo that is seen when the animation begins. The red wireframe represents the area of the photo that is seen when the animation ends. There is a preview window in the upper left part of the media editor window. If you press play or scrub the play bar, you will see the current animation in the preview window. In the attributes area, you have additional controls as well as preset animations. These presets can be used as they are, or you can modify them to customize your animation. Let's modify the default animation. With your play bar at the home position, let's grab the green wireframe. Change the size and position. When you make it smaller, it has the effect of zooming into your photo. The preview window displays your changes in real time. You now have updated the way the animation will start. If you look just below the timeline ruler, you will see this marker. It is called a keyframe. A keyframe is a marker on the timeline that holds information about the effect. Let's move the play bar halfway to the right. As you are scrubbing through the timeline, notice the white wireframe represents your current position. And as you scrub, it shows the traveling path. Click the Add Keyframe button. Now move the white window to a new location and resize it. You will see that we are panning and zooming differently now as we have added and modified the existing keyframes. Let's move the play bar to the end. The original keyframe is still there, 
So let's modify this one as well by changing the size and location of the red wireframe. That's all there is to it. Simply press OK to accept these changes, and you will be sent back to the timeline with your new pan and zoom effect applied to the photo. Now let's modify a video clip to change its mood. Drop a video on the timeline. Double click on it. When the media editor opens, select Correction. Let's modify this video clip by selecting Enhance. This is where you can modify the color, luminance, and gamma values of the video. Let's make this look a little more edgy, like a crime drama. So we will make the color pop a little more and make the darks darker. Let's bring up the contrast and saturation then do some secondary correction with Selective Brightness. Lower the fill light to deepen the shadows and lower the whites. This is much more sinister looking. As with any tool in Studio, you can turn on or off an overall effect or a single attribute by clicking the orange Enable Disable button for before and after comparisons. Remember, you can also find loads of color effects under the Effects tab. When finished, click OK. As with any effect creation, there are unlimited possibilities. With Avid Studio, you now have the power to create your own unique look and style. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class on Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class on Demand's Complete Training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.